Beth de Sombre. Beth comes from Wellesley, Massachusetts. Uh, her 2016 CD, I Was Here, uh, includes guest appearances with Tracy Grammer, Vance Gilbert, Laura Cortese, and others. Uh, and her second CD, At Home in This Town, reached number 22 on the folk charts. She performs in New England, uh, but her songs play on the radio across the country. She is an award-winning writer in many formats, and she is also active in the academic world at Wellesley College. Uh, she has been working over at Wellesley teaching in environmental politics and as the director of the department over there, environmental politics studies as well, and writes about environmental law, ocean, atmospheric issues, protection of our global commons. We heard reference to it earlier today about the earth, and so Beth is active teaching and writing about it and also making her own original songs and we look forward very much today to hearing Beth perform her songs, share them, and as well as some of her insights, perhaps, as well. OK. <laughs> and we'll move that as we're moving some of the equipment. Can we give a big round of applause for Beth DeSombre? <laughs> start with a song called Dragons. Checking if, oh, maybe, I don't know if we're ready. Our, our, my 26 countdown has not started yet. Okay, I'm going to start with a song called Dragons. And I was thinking about the, those sections on, on old maps where we didn't know what was there and we were afraid that it might be dangerous. And so you label it with something like, here be dragons. And I was thinking about in the, in the current times uh, what people must be facing in order to be willing to venture out into those unknown and dangerous and scary places. Are dragons here where the winds call to confuse us turning hope to fear and the maps that tried to guide us simply disappeared yet we're setting sail on a raft that barely holds us that will surely fail where the salty sea enfolds us when we're almost there. It's a curse or vow Caught between the known and the imagined We can't turn back now I'll take my chances with the dragon. Once upon a time, we were planning for tomorrow, planting fruits and vines. We had not yet tasted sorrow till they drew the lines. Then we couldn't breathe. When the yellow smoke rained down, it brought us to our knees. And the shelling all around us chased us toward the sea. It's a curse or vow. Caught between the known and the imagined, we can't turn back now. I'll take my chances with the dragon. Our sweet city's gone, 
now the streets are strewn with rubble where there once was song. There is nothing left but trouble where we once belonged. Fear the ocean's roar, but we brave the waves that take us to a distant shore. Pray the fates will not forsake us like they did before. It's a curse or vow Caught between the known and the imagined We can't turn back now I'll take my chances with the dragons I'll take my chances with the dragons so much. This is an honor to be a part of this event. I'm going to spend some time in and around songs talking a little bit about the writing process and, and how, how my songs came to be written. And this next one was written from a prompt. I write a lot of songs from prompts. Uh, well, I'm, I'm an educator, so I like assignments. Uh, but in New, in New England, in the Northeast in general, there, we have a lot of songwriter events that involve giving people topics or prompts to write songs about. Um, there are a lot of songwriter shows where our previous month's audience will choose a topic and the next month's songwriters have to write a song to that topic. And I participate in this thing called the Fearless Songwriter Week where you have uh, a whole bunch of songwriters agree to try to write a song a day for seven days and each day you have a different prompt. So I'm, I'm used to writing to prompts. And the prompt that, that led to this song was Suckatash which has to be the worst prompt I have ever gotten for a song, um, in part because I was afraid that I would write a ditty. It didn't seem to me that you could write a song about Succotash that wasn't a kind of one-off, cute, funny, adorable, play it once and never sing it again kind of song. And in fact, I think most people's Succotash songs fit that categorization. But I was determined to find a way to write a song about Succotash that might actually end up in my repertoire. So I went and did some research. And so first off, for those of you who aren't clear on the concept of Succotash, it's this uh, sort of mix of lima beans and corn and whatever other little vegetables chopped up you have around, um, lightly preserved in a sort of vinegary thing. And what I discovered when I started researching was that Succotash became uh, popular in the United States during the Depression and the Dust Bowl. So it was a food that you ate when you really didn't have a lot of choices. It was a way to take not ideal vegetables and try to make them a little bit more palatable and try to make them last a little bit longer, which was interesting. And once I, once I learned that, it eventually led me down this internet rabbit hole of um, things about that era and the foods of that era. And the, my favorite thing I encountered was a set of food memoirs from the Depression and the Dust Bowl. So it was people writing about the foods that they loved during that time, decades later, many decades later, about foods they remembered fondly from the time of the Dust Bowl or the um, Depression. And what was interesting, of course, was that these were, you know, these were foods of deprivation, but they remembered them fondly. And uh, my favorite of these was Ritz cracker pie. So if you don't have apples and you'd like to make something that's kind of like an apple pie, you can crumble up Ritz crackers and put them in a pie shell and put some lemon juice and a little cinnamon and bake it. And it yields something that really does taste remarkably like apple pie. Um, and uh, whether or not it's exactly like apple pie, it, uh, it is quite yummy, or people remember it as yummy. So that uh, created the setting for my song and the person who would have been experiencing these foods. My Joseph left three months ago to travel to the north. Ever since the dust rolled in, the men have all gone forth. He 
held out here the best he could, but there's no work for pay. Our credit's gone, we can't buy seeds, and they just blow away. But I can make a pie with crackers, almost tastes like apples. There's succotash, creamed peas on toast, and dandelion wine. We did our best, we pulled our weight. I'm not sure how it happened, but we'll pull through. He'll look for work, somehow we'll get by. Just after we got married, Joe's dad died and left us land. Our daughters came, we started on the life that we had planned. Joe hired the hands and plowed the fields and harvested the grain. I tended to my garden, now it's all that still remains. But I can make a pie with crackers, almost tastes like apples. There's succotash, creamed peas on toast, and dandelion wine. We did our best, we pulled our weight. I'm not sure how it happened, but we'll pull through. He'll look for work, somehow we'll get by. Letter came three days ago, I hoped we'd be set. But though he's tried his hardest, Joe still hasn't found work yet. I'm not gonna worry, back in town they'll give out bread. Until this dust dies down, I'll keep my family fed. Cause I can make a pie with crackers Almost tastes like apples There's succotash, creamed peas on toast And dandelion wine We did our best, we pulled our weight I'm not sure how it happened But we'll pull through, he'll look for work Somehow we'll get by Thank you. So as you all now know, I, in my day job, I work on environmental politics. And for a long time, my day job environment focus and my songwriting were completely separate. And part of the reason for that was that I've heard a lot of really bad songs about the environment. Um, you know, and sometimes it's a little bit hard when you study something really intensely and you know the complexities of it and then, then people simplify it. Uh, but sometimes it's also just that there's a lot of protesty music, political music um, that just wants to hit you over the head with something. And there's a place for a rallying cry and I love a good rallying cry and it's my goal to write a good rallying cry sometimes. But um, I, I hadn't figured out how to make that work in an environmental context. And the thing that made me decide to jump in and try anyway, try writing about the environment in my music, was the BP oil spill. So seven or eight years ago now, it must be, um, when the, the oil well blew in the Gulf of Mexico and it destroyed a lot of ecosystems and a lot, a lot of livelihoods. And I was thinking about that and realized um, when I was trying to figure out a way to respond to that artistically and not just politically, that uh, the songs that I loved growing up and the songs that led me to the values and the politics that I have were often not those rallying cry songs. Those are great once you already know what you think and feel, um, but the things that made a difference to me were the things that made me think about these issues and come to my own conclusions and that it was often through stories that that happened. So a lot of my songwriting, as you might already have figured out, um, involves telling stories of people. So I decided to, to put my um, BP oil disaster story in, in the form of a 
shrimp fishing family. And you know, as, as Cheryl said, I one of the things I study is ocean issues and fisheries issues. And I realized that not only the, the people that were affected by this oil disaster were have been affected by bad choices harming the environment for generations. It didn't just start then. My granddad woke at dawn the better part of every week Set out on the bayou while my gran was still asleep The gumbo gran would make with what he caught would feed us all And won her prizes at the parish hall But soon the foreign trawlers brought their hunger to our coast a race with bigger nets and gear for who could catch the most. They set their lines, they dragged the bottom fishing night and day, then gathered it and took it all away. Bigger, faster, farther and more, we used to sell our shrimp and scallops from the kitchen door. But now it's processed seafood that's for sale on distant shores. Bigger, faster, and more. My dad took on the business when his father's heart gave way. No time for cards or two-step now, he had to fish all day. Although there wasn't much to catch, he knew the shrimping grounds and thanked the saints for all that he found. But family farms nearby were going under, times were lean, and calloused hands can't work as fast as factory or machine. The ones who farm as industry don't care about the land, they seek the quickest profit that they can. Bigger, faster, farther and more Farming isn't done the way that farming was before The pesticides and fertilizer end up at our shore Bigger, faster and more I didn't know when I took over how to make ends meet Gear restrictions, seasons closed, the bank turned up the heat But shrimping's all my family's known, can't think what else I'd do We took another loan to make it through Then suddenly a wellhead blew and all the gulf turned black They say they stopped the oil, but no one can put it back Politicians pointed fingers, running from the blame, leaving all of us to feel the pain. Bigger, faster, farther and more, choices made by others come and knocking at our door. Someone somewhere else gets rich by plundering our shore. Bigger, faster and more. Bigger, faster, farther and more I'd like to leave this business to my daughter But I'm sure the little guy can't make a living from the sea no more Bigger, faster and more Bigger, faster and more So my, the CD I made that came out in uh, 2016, fall of 2016, I'll play you this, the title track from that CD. It was inspired by graffiti in New York. I played a gig in New York uh, a while back and I was just wandering around. One of my favorite things to do when I'm in New York is walk, just walk everywhere. Um, and on this particular trip, for whatever reason, what, was, what I was noticing was the uh, graffiti and the artistic and inaccessible graffiti, you know, the, the fact that people had 
managed to leave it way high up or in really, really little, hard to get to places. Um, and so I was thinking about what impulse led people to do that sort of thing, and that led me to this song. He gets off work at midnight, takes the F train back uptown, shakes off all the daily slights and times he's been put down. He rides for hours back and forth, carving lines with an old pen. And when he's done, the windows of that train will say again, I was here. I mattered, what I've done has left a mark When I'm gone, they'll notice a beacon in the dark Although I walk in shadows now, I will not disappear I was here, I was here She spends the evening serving coffee, every night's the same. The customers leave tips in pennies, no one knows her name. She thinks up rhymes throughout her shift and writes them down at home. She greets the morning on the corner, handing out her poems. I was here. I mattered, what I've done has left a mark When I'm gone, they'll notice a beacon in the dark Although I walk in shadows now, I will not disappear I was here, I was here A subway sign with every other letter scribbled out Late night rhythmic lyrics punctuated with a shout Impossibly high billboards that bear ten spray painted names Handprints placed in fresh cement all serve to make one claim. I was here, I mattered, what I've done has left a mark. When I'm gone, they'll notice a beacon in the dark. Although I walk in shadows now, I will not disappear. I was here. I was here. Thank you. So I, I do have an EP out uh, that comes after that 2016 one. Um, all songs written last February. The, the way I coped with the change in presidential administration was to write songs. Um, and this is the first song of that project. Uh, right after the first travel ban was enacted, I went to a protest in Boston, and then I came home and wrote this song. Believe it or not, I didn't want to leave home. Why would I choose to abandon the one place I'd known? I hung on until I could no longer stay No other choice but to flee and to pray Believe it or not, I didn't want to leave home Take me in Keep me safe, give me hope, take me in, that's your part, take me in, take me in, keep me safe, 
keep me safe give me hope give me hope take me in believe it or not I thought you'd help those in need a symbol of freedom and honor in word and in deed I left when I could and turned up on your shore I'd heard there was once a lamp lit by your door believe it or not I thought you'd help those in need take me in Take me in, keep me safe, keep me safe, give me hope, give me hope, take me in. Believe it or not, there's nowhere else I can go. Not unlike so many others not so long ago When you first came here to seek what you lacked What would have happened if they'd sent you back? Believe it or not, there's nowhere else I can go Take me in, take me in, keep me safe Keep me safe, give me hope, give me hope, take me in, keep me safe, keep me safe, give me hope, give me hope, take me Thank you so much. Thanks for the beautiful singing. Thank you.